Yo, what's up guys? If you clicked on this video, then you're probably wondering how you can get a super cool UI looking like this and a super cool just vibe and aesthetic to your game and that's through CSS and you probably don't know what CSS is, some of you might know what CSS is, but basically it just allows you to edit kind of what your game feels like. So you can edit the in-game stuff, as you can see my game looks a little different than the regular game. You can edit UI and you can edit your Crunker Hub. So I'm going to be showing you guys how all of this works in this video today. So stick around and watch the end. And yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to learn about CSS is basically how it gets into your game. So I'm going to be doing this example with the official Crunker client. Um, I don't know if it works with any other clients. I'm pretty sure it probably does. Probably has similar steps. But yeah, that's this is what I'm doing it with for this example. So basically, how you're going to get your custom UI into your game is you're going to go to Internet or File Explorer, go to this PC documents and you'll see something called Crunker Resource Swapper right here. Um, if you click on this and you don't have CSS or anything in your game, then this is going to be totally empty and there's not going to be these files here. Basically, there will be a link in description for all my CSS and what I use. So you can just copy and paste this in here if you want just to use my CSS. But we'll get into how to actually make CSS later on in the video. All right, moving on. Basically, how this stuff works is this is your CSS. So I forgot what this stands for. But basically, this is where you're going to customize your UI and your in-game stuff of different colors, different what you want it to look like, stuff like that. Um, so you can do different fonts, different UI or different UI, different um, marketplace, stuff like that. And yeah, that's for CSS. Um, image is basically IMG. Basically, that's like the, the actual images that your game uses. So basically, um, this is my Wasabi 747 logo. So instead of Crunker, it says Wasabi 747. I just made this in Photoshop. You can put anything here. But yeah, I just made this in Photoshop. Um, this is scripts. So basically, these are your own settings. So you can put your settings in here. So basically, you'll never lose your settings, I guess. So we'll auto go on your official client. These are special because like mods, um, they use sound and textures. So basically, this is my own mod, but it's installed in my game. So basically, you can have your custom sounds and your custom textures right in here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do when making your custom CSS is get into a game or go on, first of all, go onto your browser. Um, I'm using Brave for this and just get into a game. You can use Google, Brave, doesn't really matter. Any browser. So you want a browser. Um, not, an, not a client, no MTZ, no other stuff, but you want a browser. So I have my Brave client here. Um, what I'm going to do is press F12 to maximize it and then F, F12 or F11 to maximize it, F12 to bring out this little menu that you have right here. I mean, not menu, but like, I don't know, debugging thing, I don't really know. But basically, this is gonna let you uh, edit Crunker without actually, like, w you're just gonna be able to edit it, basically. And it's it's pretty easy to edit, so it's pretty straightforward. But um, yeah, I'll explain that in a bit. So right now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to CSS so you might start on this page go down to sources and go to, to page and then you will be at CSS D take your CSS click on main CSS and custom CSS main underscore custom CSS so this this main underscore custom CSS this is where you're gonna be overriding everything that is in main CSS so the first thing you want to do is click this and it will format all the CSS for you all the code and so it's actually readable and so you can see this is all the lines of code that go into making crunker and so each thing of this is in this game so basically um what you want to what you're going to want to do to get some to get main css or to get your main css into custom css and then custom we will put it we will copy and paste this into the css folder um in our in our Crunker, um, Crunker resources or Crunker resource swapper. So this will end up being in this. 
this will main custom main custom so that's the same exact thing so basically what you're going to want to do is this is where the overrides of the code go so you're going to want to take probably like this and if you want to know how i got it onto this you just press toggle device toolbar you can press this and you can go to responsive you can change the pixels of it okay so it's probably going to look like this this is fine it really doesn't matter but so what you're going to want to do to edit the things that you want to edit click inspect so this thing so basically it's going to say select an element in the page to inspect it and then you just want to hover over anything so you can customize these 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 um, but right now, for example, I'm going to customize this. So I'm going to just click this and you can see this is the one. So you can see this background color. So that kind of matches that. So this is the one that we're going to want to be editing. So you can see how this kind of corresponds to in the main.css. So this is in main.css, but it's harder to find in here and it's easier to locate when you can just click on it and it will quick find it right here. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna click right here. This will bring you to where it is on main CSS. And then you're gonna wanna copy it, control C, and just hover all of, over all of it and just copy it. And then control C it, and then go to main custom and control V it, okay? So this is whatever uh, um, edits you were wanting, gonna wanna do to this are gonna show up here and they're gonna override the main.css. So if I wanna make this background, non-existent or just clear i guess i can make it clear if i want to make it red i can make it i can make it red so you can basically do a lot of things to this so right now for this example i'll make it clear because that's what i have in mine and yeah you can make it clear and then you can make what does this do oh, never mind i don't know if that does but you can just um mess around with this i guess it's pretty fun to mess around with just do do random things whatever you think looks good and stuff and yeah so basically i'm probably going to do one more example with this um just to show you guys more of how it actually works uh, okay so we'll customize this right here okay so what we do to customize this is we just click this click on this and you have it right here so you can see this is what it is so button g um you can see that this color is that so that i think is gonna probably correspond to being this so we can just click on this it says button G we want to highlight it control C press enter to make a little space between there and control V and now what you're gonna want to do is we can see that there's a hex code so basically a hex code is like um, what the color is so basically how you can find your hex is just go onto one of these, so like this, and see how white is just FFF. So if you wanna, let's say we wanna change this to a yellow color, right? So like this yellow, you can see that this is our hex right here. So FFEOO, or zero zero, and so we're gonna control C. So we can just paste our thing in there and voila, it's yellow right here, just like that. And yeah, and you can see it's yellow right here. And basically, you can go around with every one of these and just change them to every color you want. Um, I'm probably not going to go in depth of how you can like move these around. You can just experiment with that if you want. But yeah, that's basically how you do the UI stuff. Now, you might be wondering how you get the in-game UI. And so this is kind of a harder process. So basically, I got mine online. Um, uh, I can't really find it. It's really hard to find it, at least in this main CSS and it's really hard to edit it in there and just bring it to main custom. So basically what um, I'm going to give you guys is in the description and basically it's just a folder with um, all my stuff in it, all my CSS in it, um, or not all mine, but just the stuff that makes my in-game look cooler. So basically what you're going to want to do is just copy it. So copy all of it. Right here, control C, and then go here. Um, remember to do, uh, remember to press enter to give yourself another space, and then control V it right there. It should all load in, and then your in game should look a little different. So, as you can see, um, I can make that like that. And so, my in game now looks a little different. As you can see, there's the 90, that's my health, 
and four bullets that's how many bullets i have um the health the what's it called is in the middle the timer is in the middle um fps to the side and yeah i think this really looks a lot cleaner if you don't want this you can completely skip out this step and just keep editing your css but yes that's what you guys are going to want to do if you want to get my css or what i have in game also make sure to edit kind of what i have in that folder so you can click on the colors and make them a little different or just to suit your style of what you want your game to look like okay so the last thing to making your css is knowing how to export it and where to put it so basically if you go into your um desktop or i mean your file explorer you're gonna want to go to this pc documents uh, locate crunker resource swapper new folder and you're gonna name this folder css okay so i already have a folder so i'm not gonna make a new one but basically it's just gonna look like css okay now um what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this right here you're gonna save as you're gonna right click your main.custom css save as you're gonna go to um this you're gonna locate this folder so go to documents crunker resource swapper click in your css and name it main underscore custom it should be saving as a cascading style sheet document and you just save it in there and yes that's it and now you have your css that you made in here but it will go to your official client Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to know how to do is to um, basically do the same thing, but to your Crunker Hub. Okay, so that for this first tab, you're going to want to just make sure you have this saved as and make sure you have it in your folder and all, all good. And you can exit that out. And now once you're in here, you're going to want to log in. Okay, now I'm logged in. Uh, you're going to want to maximize the screen by pressing F11 and then pull up your inspect tool by pressing f12 and you will be in your crunker inspect tool in here so first thing you want to do is go to css go to social.css and build.css and basically this is kind of the same same thing so you're going to, want to format that format that by pressing this little format social css button you can drag it out so you can see a little bit more but basically now you can just go over here click on this and yeah it will give you this so basically let's say we want to make right here this background clear so like in my um css it's clear or actually how about we make we want to make it red or something so we're gonna click this and now as you can see nav bar so this is what it's called in here nav bar div over here it says nav bar so as you can see, we have nav bar right here, and this is the background color, but you don't want to edit it in here. You want to click on this socials of CSS. It will find it for you. You copy it, go to social custom, control V, and now you can edit it and we can make it clear. So it's non-existent red. And we're just going to bring that that a little bit so you can see it, but you can see still kind of see the background. Okay. So. Now that we have this, let's do something else. Maybe like we can do this one for the exact same thing. So we see that this is leader nav two and this is leader nav two. And we can see, um, we just click it there and we got it in social CSS. Now you copy this control C and then control V it in here. And now we can just change this to the exact same thing. And yeah, now, as you can see, they're both matching and it looks a little cooler. So um, most people want to know how to change this background. Basically, you're going to click on this, right? And then you're going to see, you're going to click on right here, like in this little area. And then you're going to, it's going to come up with this and you're going to see right here, it says HTML body. And some of this, you can't really click on it. Basically, we're just going to want to click on the social CSS thing. And now you see it. So right here, um, right here, this is the URL to the texture of the wall that's behind. And you can see that it is the wall texture in fact. And how you're gonna make, how you're gonna get like a custom one is through an image uploader to like the internet or you can just go through Discord. And I'm gonna explain that really quickly right now. Okay, so I found my image right here. This is what I want. Make sure to get a 10 or 1920 by 1080 image. And you're gonna right click it and you're gonna press save image as, and you just wanna save this as 
a random image just like I'll just name it bruh I have so many things named bruh okay so we're gonna, just gonna save this here and we're gonna save it to our downloads and just save now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to open up discord and as you have discord here I'm just gonna take one of my friends and this is one of my friends who I just put I just put everything into so I can copy the link so basically what you're gonna want to do is press this button right here it's gonna bring up all your files you're gonna go to downloads and then click this and open it right here you can just open it straight up and now you have it in discord and it's basically uploaded somewhere so now you can press copy link and this will copy your link from discord and we go back into Crunker Hub, and instead of this textures PNG, we'll control V this. And as you can see, we have our background in this, but there's something wrong with our background. Um, there's like a ton of it and it's not 1080 by 1920. So how you fix this is right here. You can see that it says background size 300 by 300 pixels. We're just going to edit this and we're going to make it. 1920 by 1080 okay so now that we've made it 1920 by 1080 i just realized we just edited this in social css instead of social.custom so basically what we're going to want to do is just control c and then control v all the way over here so now we actually have it edited or have it here so now as you can see we've made a pretty cool background for our Conquer hub and now what you're going to do is maybe let's do one more edit and we can just do this scroll item how about just to ingrain this guy in your guys head so we're going to click on the outside of this div scroll item up here you can see it and we're just going to click on that now you can see scroll item click on social css copy it paste it in social custom and then background color as you can see this is the background color we can just turn that off so you can't see it but that's not really appealing so we're just gonna go to here maybe something like that would look cool or maybe like black i oh, know black doesn't look maybe you could do red or just red to stick with this red i think it's a little more and yeah exactly that's how you do it and i think that looks super cool super clean and you can do all of these, but yeah, that's how you do this. And let's move on to getting it in the game. Okay, so after you have your social custom and your main custom, also I forgot to tell you guys, you do do the same exact thing as main custom and exporting it to this folder right here. But you're gonna wanna export these two to this folder. And then once you have these two, uh, you will be set, your game will be ready to run. But if you want to add some fonts, that is also a thing you can do. So if you want to add fonts, just go to new folder and then make it called fonts. Okay, just like this. It matters the spelling. And then you're going to go on the internet, go to dafont.com. And you can pick a ton of different font fonts here. Okay, you can take a ton of different fonts here. So if you want this font, it looks cool. Yeah. Um, any anyone so we can do like some sans serif fonts um, Lemon milk cool vedica bebas or whatever that's called film noir film noir cocoa goose anything you really want um, To have as your font new machines big noodle tilting so really anything here um, so let's say you want to have let's see um, let's just go here. Let's say you want to have, um, Evo Gria as your font. Okay. I think this looks pretty cool. I want it in my game. So you're just going to say download. It's going to download this zip file right here. You just want to open it and you're going to want to go to Eva Gria right here. Now you can see it. It's right here and you're going to want to take this right here. This one, you can do the italic one if you want as well. But I think I'm just going to stick with this one. I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy it. I can X this out. And now once I'm in my fonts folder, I'm just going to paste my font in there. And I'm going to rename it. To re... I have to click it. Rename it. 
and I'm gonna rename it font one, font two, font three, font four, and and font four. So basically, now Evo Gria or whatever font you choose will be in all your font files, and that's what your game's font is gonna look like. Okay, so now once you have all of these things, um, this is basically all your CSS. This is what you're gonna need for your game and just put it in your css folder in your crunky resource swapper you can exit this and launch your official client okay so now as it's launching you can see how it looks um this is just my css so your css might look a little different but mine you can see that mine looks a lot different than the regular game and i really like this look and yeah um this is basically how the game will work um and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it was a pretty hard to learn tutorial, tutorial, but um, hopefully you guys could understand most of what I was saying. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with words. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy making your own CSS. And yeah, straight up, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to give the video a like and maybe subscribe if you like this type of content. Um, I post a little bit different content, but this is just something that I was requested for my Twitch stream, which I do Twitch stream on Twitch. Uh, the link will be in the description. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope to see you guys make some cool CSSs. And yeah, peace.